What's up, folks? Guess what time it is? It is time for Grand Finals. I'm talking the run back between Vito and Friday. This is going to be one for the history books, folks, so stay tuned. Uh, also, for my commentary, it might be garbage, so don't even worry about it. Just chill, all right? Just, just chill. Why is the North Battlefield logo off-center? Friday giving me the hello, time to go. Friday. <laughs> I mean, I could call him Veneris. It's not, it's not a bad name, but all right. So starting off, same matchup as before, the one that Vito barely lost at the end. Vito's going to want to look. Oh, and already we're seeing the up B out of shield from Veneris. Uh, it's, it's so fast. It comes out nearly immediately, and it really makes Vito watch his spacing and things. Now, Vito, being the god he is, uh, still isn't perfect, because that would kind of ruin the plot. So, uh, so Vito's still got to watch himself. This is essentially a proxy battle between Saskatoon and North Battleford at this point. We've got North Battleford's own Vito against Saskatoon's own Veneris himself. And Veneris, speaking of which, is at a hard 164 percent it's not hard for Isabel to kill at this point however keeping Isabel on the ledge keeping stage control but the up throw will be enough to take the nearest's first stock and Vito now with the lead oh is gonna get the nearest miss spacing that up B does not manage to kill he has still got to watch where he is at any point because this could be a very, very tough encounter. Vito avoiding the stage spike there. The ledges on the stage are quite jank after all. Veneris looking for the misfire for shield pressure actually parries the attack in order to keep this Luigi off stage and is pressuring extremely well with the fishing rod just building up loads of damage. And Veneris finally gets the kill, but Vito's got a solid percent lead of 93%. Veneris manages to get in, drops the combo. Vito hitting him with the, the fishing rod. Uh, Veneris applying a lot of pressure here. Vito turning that pressure around, trying to get that early kill. Veneris at an incredibly high percent. Vito looking to kill with the up throw. That will kill Vito a solid stock ahead. Uh, looking to get a early gimp kill to make this uh, to make this first game a little easier on him. Uh, Vito is pulling this Luigi off stage as far as he possibly can, and he manages to gimp Veneris, and that's game one. Now, Vito is on loser's side right now, so if he wins this set, he will have to reset the bracket. Now, will we see a character switch for many of these people? Um, I guess we shall see. It looks like they're going to do some stage picks here. And see, the thing about Vito is he's very careful, very calculated with every single one of his attacks. And so with a character like Isabel, he's great at spacing you out and using that fishing rod, especially at the edge, to build up loads of damage, which Luigi will have a hard time dealing with for sure. All right, so we got the same match up here once again. We've seen many of games like this. All right, so then the game begins. Veneris getting the first hit here, getting some nice percent. Isabel is looking to escape these combo strings. Already has a dangerous amount of percent, especially when that up B is such a threat. However, you can just stand and shield, and the up B will not be able to kill you. Although that F smash will be taking Vito's stock quickly. Veneris with the taunt. Vito looking to looking to edge guard. Uh, Veneris regaining stage control. Uh, 
Vito, of course, he's got the mind games one step ahead, placing his Lord Rocket into the ground. Veneris always looking for the misfire, never knows when it's going to show up. Vito still just looking for this kill at the end of this stock here. Veneris is at a high percent. A couple more throws and he'll be high enough to uh, to be able to be killed by the up-throwing fishing rod, which is Vito's go-to. Vito looking to hit, catch him with the down smash, manages to land a grab, and the back throw will be killing, but Veneris now has the percent lead, and manages to take the stock on Vito as he's floating off stage with the F smash. Veneris then getting more of a percent lead on Vito at this point. This is going to put Vito in a situation where he's got to play very safe in order to take this, whereas Veneris is getting more and more risky with his play right now, looking for more misfires, looking to qu end this game as quickly as possible. Gets the misfire back on stage, and with the kill misfire, RNG on his side, Veneris takes game two. Vito is not having this. Vito is not a fan of the RNG, but now we will be moving on to game three. One score for each character, each player right now. We're going to see if we see any character switches, but it looks like it's really anyone's game at this point. These two are very closely matched. 1-1. One, one. Same character picks. And it looks like we will be going to, uh, let's see what, looks like we are going to be going back to town and city for this one. This is a stage that gives uh, Luigi a little more space. It's a little less claustrophobic when fighting Isabel. Oh, Isabel going for the gimp right off the bat, but Venera is keeping his jump in order to be able to side B back on stage. But Isabel's having none of it manages to gimp Veneris at the very beginning of the game without taking a hit. And he's, he hits him with the taunt. Veneris, though, his explosive power will be able to potentially bring this back. However, I doubt that Vito's gonna have any of that. Isabel, with the constant pressure, getting a percent lead on Veneris, as well as the stock lead putting himself in a good position for this game. And he just keeps spacing out Veneris, making it... Oh, Veneris goes for the uppy. It does not come up. He get then comes up, gets the uppy, goes for another one. Isabel with a very safe recovery. Veneris looking to recover again. Isabel looking for the gimp, always. Uh, the Lloyd Rocket will add that extra percent onto Veneris. And enough for the spike. Vito spikes Veneris and is now two stocks ahead. This is looking to be a pretty good game for Vito. Not so much for Veneris at this point. Vito starting to space him out. Really playing on Luigi's lack of range in this game. The misfire, though, will be taking Vito's stock. That is Veneris' ace in the hole, is to just pull out misfire. For some reason, he just knows. But it isn't something he can rely on. Vito looking for the down smash there to get the stage control. Uh, Veneris now only at one stock, over 100%. Things are getting into kill territory. Vito's going to want to close this off as quickly as possible. Vito with the up throw will take game three. Vito now at two points. Veneris at one. We'll see if Vito can reset this bracket. <laughs> There's a bit of a crowd around watching this set. This is Grand Finals of North Battlefield, September 14th, 2019. <laughs> Same character picks, but this time we are on Yoshi's Story. 
So Veneris starting off the game with a solid 40% combo. Vito looking to do his regular strat. Just get the man off stage and don't let him come back. Vito's edge guarding, as you can see right there, and able to take the stock. Veneris's misfire not helping him in that case, putting him way off the stage, but he manages to make it back without any trouble at all. Both characters getting back in this scenario. The misfire comes out and takes Vito's stock, taking his stock lead and just destroying it. Now Veneris is able to get the percent lead back and it is now an equal game again. Vito looking for the gimps as, as usual, trying to get regain stage control. The up airs, oh, waiting for an option. Veneris pulls out the Luigi up B, which will take Vito's stop. <laughs> However, Veneris is at a relatively high percent, so one good read from Vito could be the end of this stop for him. Vito regaining stage control, trying to gimp Veneris. Veneris ending up far off stage. Air dodging is not going to be able to make it back. It is now one stock for each. Veneris misfires right off stage, gets gimped by Vito, and that is the bracket reset. Is that, wait, is that just it? No bracket reset?